Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there, it is Wednesday again. We've got Gary here with us. We've got Good some great here. questions on tab, so let's get right to them. We've got a question from a viewer. Hey Gary, do I have any recourse if my wedding photographer never gave us the photos? Oh uh, well, good question. <laughs> and is there anything more sensitive? I oh, mean, that wow. would upset people more than not having your wedding present. And I hear it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. So what can you do about it? The uh, well, you can sue them, of course. And the and the question is, where do you sue them if you have to? Yeah. Uh, and that's the interesting thing about this. So can you sue for damages? Well, what are your damages? I mean, you, emotional. I don't think there <laughs> is such a thing for yeah. not having your pictures. But there is specific performance. Mm -hmm. So you can file a lawsuit in the Superior Court of uh, Georgia or the uh, Circuit Court in Alabama for mm -hmm. specific performance, which is equitable relief, which is a little different than damages relief. The judge will say, the right thing to do here is to make him do something. Mm -hmm. You can't make somebody come take your wedding pictures again, and you can't make them take pictures. I mean, you can't force somebody into servitude but you can force them to turn over what they have. Right. Or at least get an order from the judge saying turn them over. Yeah. So you don't want it to go that far, you know, so I think the smart thing to do is make sure you're dealing with people that have a good reputation to begin with, you know, and, and try and avoid that. But you have six years, it's a contract, so yeah. anyway, nobody wants to wait six years. You, who knows, you know, right. you, you may not want them then. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's a but whole anyway, other topic, right? That's another topic for <laughs> lawyers. Another, right. Yeah. Right. So we do have a hot topic. What can I do if I, am con if I am concerned that my child might have lead poisoning? And maybe we used to live on one of the old houses on post? Do I need a lawyer? Yeah, you know, I read about this mm -hmm. uh, recently. I think mm -hmm. this, is, this is hot. Yes. And, and I don't know the answer. Uh, I think the questions will become who's responsible. Yeah. Was this a government-based uh, 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 housing, or is a lot of the housing out there now, of course, is managed Contacted, and owned yeah. by by individual mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. separate from the government? So, who's responsible? How long ago it was? These are all issues. If it's a child, interesting. Maybe statute of limitations for a child doesn't start to run until they turn 18 in oh. Georgia or 19. Okay in Alabama, mm -hmm. it stayed mm -hmm. until they become an adult. So there's a long time to deal with this. Hopefully it didn't have those kind of long-term uh, damages yeah, or, or implications. Effects, yeah. But you know, you gotta figure out where it was, when it was, who was involved, all of the uh, facts. And it's probably something that lawyers are looking into. Yeah. I haven't heard of it yet, but we're happy to talk to somebody about it. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Thanks for the questions. Keep them coming. We'll see you on the very next legal break.